another video I'd like to share about why my wife and I are generally speaking, not that we don't struggle, but we are generally speaking much more at peace, much more free from fear and resting in the love of our God. It has to do with things in a general sense is the double mindedness of religion that we're free from. Again, I want to focus on the positive, but to present the positive, I have to give an example of the not so positive. And a note I gave myself here a while back was uh, we are told by religion that in order to be blessed in all areas of our life, we are to obey what church leadership says in order to receive those blessings. And at the same time, we're told anyone who leaves this building and stops obeying leadership is selfish and only going for their own self-interest. And then I just asked the question at the end. I said, why is that not a contradiction of terms, i.e. double-mindedness? Because on the one hand, they say, in essence, they're not saying you're selfish, but in essence, they're saying, if, if you really want to take care of business, take care of numero uno, stay in this building and you're going to be blessed you know your finances will be blessed your family your health your wealth everything's going to be blessed if you go in here and do what they tell you to do because you got to be under this spiritual leadership so how else can you take that but a as a self that's self-interest i mean that is not a sacrificial life you're going to only get good things so either they're leaving something out or that's a contradiction because like I say, they'll say, well, you're just being selfish when you walk out that door. And understand there's people that will. They'll go out the door and they just want to live a fleshy, carnal life and say, hey, God loves me no matter what, so I can do whatever they want. But there's people that don't get the love of God. And I'm not saying religious people do get the love of God. It's just that they claim to, but somehow they put that within the boundaries of this religious construct of being in this building and do these things. Whereas being led of the Spirit, I mean, Jesus said it, the wind blows where, where it will, and you hear the sound of it, but you don't know where it comes from. And so is everyone who's led of the Spirit, or born of the Spirit. That's what we are. We're born of the Spirit, in a building, outside of a building. I'm not trying to kick anyone out of a building. I'm just saying, I found my place, and it doesn't have anything to do with the building. My wife and I don't belong there. And if we ever do, then we'll know, because the Spirit will show us that. Not out of self-interest. I mean, it is... I guess you could say it's selfish. We want to be with him. And then we found him outside those the building. We selfishly sought our God, you could say. And we have him more than we ever had in our entire life. More than we ever have. And it wasn't so we could satisfy the lust of our flesh. That's not what it is. And if that's what people want to think, that's okay. We can't do anything about that. Because people judge people whether they're in the building or outside of it. All I can tell you is, is that... The double-mindedness is something that, in a general sense, I'm very free of. And that particular message always troubled me. I always try to figure it out. It's like, well, geez, if, if it's a selfish thing to leave the building, but you're telling me all my blessings are in this building, well, then that's just as selfish. So it's just, it's just a matter of education? Well, no, apparently people don't believe it. They don't believe it, so they go off on their own. But... If you had the most simple message, which is not double-mindedness at all, it is just your God and who He is and what He did for you and that He loves you, that is truly single-minded. And that's what we found. That's what we found. We sink deeper into it every day. We get closer to Him and we rest more and more each and every day. And so it's a new experience all the time. We're always learning and growing and maturing. But there's no do this to get that. Because he already gave it to me. And the Bible says that. We have been given all spiritual blessings in heavenly places with Christ. We are seated with him already. We have everything that pertains, all things that pertain to life and godliness. And we don't need anything else. And we're happy. In Jesus' name, amen.